not used to doing the car ones when it's sunny out. I know. We usually have so to deal with the light nighttime. issues. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. Hi, I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account, subscribe, and hit that like button. <laughs> and today we're doing another car review. <laughs> from a little farther away than we normally do. Yep, we drove to Chicago. Review. Basically, Anaheim felt like it. Anaheim is basically the Chicago of Los Angeles. Yeah, it's, right. <laughs> I think it's, it's actually the Texas of Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah it is actually. Yeah. It's in, down in Orange County. Yeah, um, it's about eighty-four kilometers from where we normally stay. But uh, don't let that fool you. Don't let that fool you. Um, and this is the second time we've done it. The first time was another Malayalam film. Yeah, and that was a LJP's film. But I think two years ago was it? Two years ago? Yeah, it was, it was two, two years, years ago. ago. Wow. How time flies. I know. Good Lord. Uh, anyways, uh, we just saw and we came down for the highly anticipated Malielam no, film. No, that was a year ago. It was a year ago. It was January of, of 2023. Mammoots? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it was just the year. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, the highly anticipated Malayalam film, The Goat Life, or um, it has a different uh, name that I can't pronounce in Malayalam. I think it starts with like an AAD yeah. kind of thing. Um, but the directed and screenplay written by uh, Blessy. Story is by ben Benjamin, uh, produced by Blessy, composed by Arnand Bar Ea Rahman, and starring Prithi Raj. Um, the, and it's based off of the true story of the... Uh, I forget who is what his name was. Ni, ni, uh, uh, Nijab, I believe. Yeah, and I think he wrote a book. Yeah. And I think this is an adaption of the book. Correct. I believe. Um, so since it just came out, obviously we're going to do uh, mostly non-spoilers uh, since it just came out. And if we want to get into the spoilers, we will tell you before we do that. Correct. Uh, just to respect the film. Let the movie tell um, the story. And, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you haven't seen it and you don't want to hear anything, go watch it. Come back. Um, and uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of The Goat Life. Yeah, I don't know what the length of the review is going to be. I'll be interested in our conversations, but I was disappointed. And I'm sorry for those of you who were, who've were who already seen it and were sending me messages and praising the film. Uh, you'll be disappointed in my disappointment, but I will never be dishonest. I have to give you all of my honest feelings. And uh, yeah, this, this one, I had high expectations for this. And uh, I just was, I was, I will talk about it, but I was disappointed. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I was, I was disappointed too, um, not in the, the, the same way that, like, we have with other films in terms of, like, where I 100% think, though, like, whatever film you can talk about, Juwan or whatever, uh, I, I don't think those are good films at all. I think this does have some good stuff. I think the, the biggest issue for me was it wasn't as engaging as I was hoping it was going to be. I agree. That's you know? one, of the, one of the things yeah, I'm Yeah, there's with. obviously other stuff. But yeah. um, and, and t the difference is what I'm talking about in terms of I think there's some commendable stuff in this in terms of visual effects, and there's some parts that were really engaging, but then it also followed it with parts that I'm like, okay, that, that was not engaging as I was hoping it was going to be um, in, in certain parts like that. So, yeah, I think overall... I would be disappointed in this film just because my expectations were I was like I hope this is a film that India can send to the Oscars. Yeah, you know, right. Um, and I know a lot of people have. Uh, I've already seen opinions about it, and they might think that. And so who knows? Maybe they'll do it. Well, there's people um, that thought the the film about the floods 2018 was deserving of Oscars, and so um, you can't. <laughs> you can't change people's opinions. About um, that. But yeah, overall, I think my biggest gripe is one. I think it's. Even though maybe it was on purpose, they wanted to give you the length to kind of make you feel the dread and how long he was there and kind of stuff like that. Uh, but I think it was definitely too long and it was um, definitely not as uh, engaging. I wanted to I wanted to feel what this man was going through and I felt a lot of times I was just kind of shown it. Yep. Um, and I, I don't know if that makes sense to some of you. Um, but that's... That, that's what we're talking about when I, when I say it's not as engaging when like like survivor stories like this um, And maybe it was just us who knows because uh, obviously I've, I've already seen a bunch of people's comments as you have about this film um, they they should you should really feel the agony and the disgust of certain things happening and the the tragedy of certain things happening um, and like I said at times I did but then it was also followed by many times that I, I just didn't 
Um, so, yeah. Thoughts? Yeah. No. I, you don't need a runtime to be long to make people feel like his uh, struggle was long. Yeah. Um, at all. Um, I mean, you want to see a, a playbook on how to to properly present cinematically. What happened? Just scooching it. Oh, uh, how to, uh, you know, if you want to look at something that shows you how to properly portray cinematically isolation and duration and things of that nature, watch Castaway. Um, <laughs> and there's, in spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Castaway, run away for the next 30 seconds. But <laughs> when Wilson goes floating away, every time, including the first time, obviously, I cry. I am heartbroken over his loss of Wilson, a freaking inanimate object, a volleyball. I felt no connection to him and the goats. I didn't understand why it was even called goat life necessarily, other than he just was held captive like the goats. Uh, I understand that the book goes into great detail about some things. I was wondering a lot, and we'll get into some spoilers, of um, just there's just so much about it that just did not did not work there were too many continuity errors to even enumerate um I, the score was really beautiful in some spots there were a couple of really beautiful transitions cinematically mm -hmm. uh but nothing else really worked for me it was it, it, i and again i don't like to wax on about everything that didn't didn't work uh, unless i feel a, a really deep personal affront as if somebody was just didn't give a crap about what they were doing and i don't feel like that was the case here so that's why it's more of a disappointment than just wow you really don't care about cinema i didn't feel that at all i just felt like there was a lot of stuff that i don't understand why they went about it the way they did or or permitted it to end in the final in the project that way and it's also my understanding that a lot of it um it isn't really uh, a lot of what is in the book is not in the film. Anything else I have to say would be in spoilers. Um, yeah, yeah. The uh, I thought the the score was really nice. Obviously, they cut a lot of the songs in terms of uh, they cut down a lot of the songs. Like there was a couple we reacted to. They didn't have like the full fledged thing outside of the the main theme that we've heard as well. But I thought that was really nice. I thought a lot of the um, thought of stuff that I thought was really commendable was. Um, hair and makeup and, and VFX in terms of some of the grossness. Uh, <laughs> that did make me feel really gross. Um, and then, like, hair and makeup I thought did nice. Um, then the um, cinematography, a lot of times, it was, it was especially in the desert, they made it look really, really pretty. It's, um, beautiful desert and then Kerala. Uh, <laughs> so they made those look really, really nice. Um, I thought Prithi Raj did a, a good job. Um, I, I was... I was hoping for, I'd be like, oh, they should nominate him for an Oscar. I don't think I would go that far. I would say he did a good job, um, which is probably as far as I would go uh, with that. And I, I don't know. I, I definitely think he definitely was cared about this role a lot. You could tell he was he put a lot of his heart into it. I think a lot of it was more the filmmaking aspect and maybe the some of the stuff that the writing that should have... And I, I was connected to his character at times, like I said, at times throughout the film, him and his wife, um, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but then other times, I'd be like, "Oh, I, I, I was hoping we would be in a, uh, a more engaging place right now than we are." <laughs> um, but like I said, it wasn't. I this is this is a toughie because were my expectations through the roof? Yeah, they were. Um, just like they are for uh, whenever um, Vikram's film comes out in terms of that, uh, whatever yeah. that one's called. Uh, yeah, well, I was like, you should have high expectations for uh, films you're excited for. Like, I had, the, the movie I was most excited for last year was Poor Things, and it exceeded my expectations. So you you you, you should have high expectations from collaborators and, f and, and creatives that you have um, respect for and high anticipation for, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had a thought. Oh, yeah, this is something I wanted to say. I, I felt at times that I wanted them to... That Obviously, this was... It took them a long time to make, obviously. It's one of those, I think, it was 14 or something years, whatever. Sure, whatever. Uh, from, yeah. from beginning to end. And they had a big, con, big yeah. stoppage because of COVID. COVID. Yeah, and all that. I know all that. Um, filmmaking is the most collaborative art form. It's really difficult to get projects done. Yeah. A lot of projects take a long time, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's very commendable. I, th I felt at times they were trying to make it too big, though. 
like obviously this is the Malayalam industry and so obviously they're more their thing is more niche and smaller intimate things I agree and with I you. was actually hoping more of that I, I, I felt I, I, I felt was, I, I agree with you I felt missing that hundred percent um, I was like I I wanted a personal journey I wanted to feel like I had been side by side with this man in the simplest of the most mundane and the most torturing moments of his life on a small scale yeah so that I could feel them with him and I felt like they were trying to make it bigger Big, I agree and great if that works but I felt it, it almost took away sometimes from I what agree. I wanted yeah. um, in the film. I agree. I wanted the the smallness of that that I love in Malayalam. <laughs> I, I mean, the smallness to show you what didn't work. Spoil? Can I? Sh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was our non-spoiler non -spoiler Spoiler. review. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, please go watch it. Hold on. Please go watch it and then come back uh, to get our spoilers. Yeah. So now, so spoil, 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 spoil. When he said goodbye to the goats, mm -hmm. he's crying. I had zero connection to the goats. Mm -hmm. And it's like all of a sudden it, you're, you're going to try and cash in on an emotional investment you didn't make. He didn't, he didn't even name one of them. He didn't, he had no relationship to the goats other than he walked around with them. If he got head butted like that, that's, that strains credulity. Um, there were a lot of things that strained credulity for me in terms of what I think was done cinematically for dramatic effect instead yeah. of what actually took place in the events of the man's life. The buzzards. And yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and That's one of the biggest things I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. And I, 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 it just, uh, too many things didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just too many things didn't work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I definitely felt some of those, like I, when I was just before the spoilers talking about the big, big mo, like they were trying to make it too big, the VFX with the buzzards, and I was like, you could have had the buzzards there and eating the body, but then like to have them fight you like that and um, trying to make it like almost like this, almost epic at times. Right. I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. I want, I want gross and yeah, and, and, and just small things like. I don't want to. I don't want to harp on them. It's just because uh, all I will talk about are the things that that didn't work, and they confound me because they were they were they didn't they were, they're fixable. Um, so many things that didn't work didn't have to be that way because they they they, they could have been fixed. So that's that's my largest disappointment is the yeah. fact that there's so many things in this that I saw, whether it was continuity errors or it was taking something and making it bigger than it needed to be or trying to cash in on an emotional investment you never made, that I just just did not didn't work yeah yeah um i i would be interested in reading the book because um, i would very much like to read the book um this is just, an awful thing that happened to this man That's absolutely just terrible yeah um to obviously whether he was trying to i don't know if it's kind of like one of those donkey things where it would seem more like a, the, a job opportunity he was hoping to get yeah my than, understanding than, is the book is he got a legitimate job opportunity and there was miscommunication when he landed and he was he was kidnapped yeah and then kept and it's my understanding that the book goes into great detail on extraordinary physical torture goes into great detail of how he became one with the goats so much so that he had given names to them that he was there for the birth of a goat that made him flash back to his wife and is his baby being born and how that devastated him to him suddenly having mentality of a goat and suddenly becoming going through uh, munchausen syndrome where yeah. he's suddenly caring about his captors all of those psychological things that happen to somebody in that are non-existent in the film so I, I would like to read the book and find it's sad. I'd like to read the book and find out what actually happened to the man. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there were, there were a ton of continuity errors. Just yeah. a ton of continuity errors. Um, I wonder if some of that had to do with how long it took them to take and if, if something was done a few years ago. And I don't know. Um, I'm just speculating here. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, That's all. I don't like I, having... I feel bad for it because... <laughs> it makes it sound like it's like 
the worst film ever. No, no, it, no. It's not. And, but that's how it's going to be taken. It's, <laughs> oh, <laughs> if we have a negative review, that's how it's going to be taken of something that a lot of people love. That's fine. Um, but that's fine, like, and you, you, <clears throat> the majority of you hate Lal Singh Chada, and I'm never going to stop loving that film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, I like doing these. Like, just it looks like like I absolutely hated the film, and it's more of like, no, oh, I wanted more, so much yeah. more for it. You know what it's like. You know, it's like watching watching a, a friend or a family member compete in something athletically, and you're rooting for them, and they just don't pull it off yeah. and you just feel so bad for them because you knew that it could have been so much more but they just it didn't work this time yeah that's exactly how i feel and you know we love the malayalam even though i'm sure in this comments like never watch malayalam again <laughs> that's it always happens oh. not just malayalam but like any, in, any language is like oh, yeah. never watch india oh, again yeah. <laughs> you don't get it i'm like maybe i don't okay that's fine. yeah that, <laughs> maybe it's that's a, such an old useless excuse that requires zero intelligence or intellect to be able to say oh you just don't get us no there are things that transcend region and culture and they fall onto the category of cinematic excellence and we are the first to admit when we don't get something culturally mm -hmm. this has i this has nothing to do with that you know uh, what did what the, the the film that we the ljp's last film yeah that's the one where i walked out of it and said i didn't like it but i don't it's probably me yeah that one was legitimately you know I, I don't know what to tell you. I just didn't get that. Yeah, I was so, like I said. I was hoping. I was hoping that we could after I just be like send this to the Oscars right, now. Yeah. That was my expectation for this film, whether right or wrong with having that expectation. That's what I had, right? Mm -hmm. um, but currently, I'd much rather send Mamoudi's film of the year. Uh, no, or this even is the, uh, this is it, not a this is not. If it qualifies, uh, this although this is not a submission to the Oscars. Although this, I don't think I don't want it to be submit. Yeah, I would submit it over 2018, <laughs> last year. Um, just if, you, like, if you had to pick one, this is Oy. yeah. You, no, you don't want to. Yeah. No, but I'm saying if this is a better film than 2018, if I had to, I would. But it is by but no stretch what you should make, submit. Make that um, <laughs> it should like currently it should be Mamoudi's film, or if the twelfth fail or one of those from last year is uh, well currently the one they should submit because I think it's going to get a release this year, even though we saw it last year. Is a is Berlin? Berlin? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? And we're still waiting work. for Kennedy's get a, getting distribution <laughs> this year. We're just still waiting on On Your Ogs Kennedy. Uh, anyways, you guys can let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, why, why we're you, dumb? Why we're dumb? Why you hate us now? And why we should never watch Malayalam cinema again? Yeah. Let us know what the next Malayalam film we should watch is. <laughs> <laughs> down below and anything else uh, any other insults that you want to yeah, throw just, at us just it all helps hate us it all helps the algorithm, us. Helps the algorithm. <laughs> troll <laughs> us all you want <laughs>